What's up, y'all? It's your boy Zay Zay the Prince, and we're back with another video. Y'all see by the title. Y'all see the title already. Look, last weekend was a very fun weekend. Very fun, eventful weekend. I hope y'all had a great weekend. I had a great weekend, and you feel me? I, look, look, look. All right, well, we ain't gonna say nothing about my weekend, bro, but I had a great weekend. I hope y'all had a great weekend last weekend, and we keep having, you know, just great days, great weekends, you know, just turn up, you know, live your best life, y'all, like I am. But look, 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 enough about that. We gotta talk about, we gotta talk about the fight. We gotta talk about the fight, bro. KSI, man, KSI event was amazing. He, you know, we finna go over every fight right now, bro, so... I guess we, we just gonna go ahead and start with the first one. We're gonna start with a KSI versus Swarm. Really not much you can say about it, you know, like there's not really nothing you can kind of analyze, like you can just go over bruh, cause he, he whooped him. Like there wasn't really, <laughs> you really wasn't able to see what KSI really got, like his, his opponents weren't fighting back. Like, it's one thing for you to go in against a trash opponent, but when your opponents don't fight, then how are you really like, you know, how are you really displaying what, you know, what you can really do? But, um, yeah, so KSI whoop swarms in two rounds, you know, knocked them out. It's what he was supposed to do. Swarms is spinning around the ring. Clearly, he had never boxed a day in his life. He was just doing it, get a paycheck, get the heck up out of there. But again, we do got to give Swarms credit because the, he, he, he did save that card because Alex Asabi did pull out the fight. Swarms saved that card, man. So big, big respect to him, man. Fair play to him, bro. He, he really saved that card, man. Shout out to uh, Swarms. But you know, KSI, that's my guy. Probably my favorite YouTuber, bro. Did his thing, bro. Did his thing, like, he did his thing. So, shout out to KSI, man. That's my boy, bro. Shout out to KSI. But then, all right, so the next fight, we got Dean the Great. We got Dean the Great versus Evil Hero. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's nothing really you can say about that one. No, no okay. Let me not say that because you can actually, when you look at that fight, bro, you can actually take a lot from it. Dean the Great is very fast. Like, he has fast hands. He's very skillful. You know, you can tell he's very technical, and he has a good understanding of how to box. Like, he, he has good boxing IQ. Now, one thing that, only thing that, he didn't do good. He didn't have good head movement. Like, you know, he was good at, like, I would say, like, step back and, you know, like, weaving and, you know, but his head movement wasn't that good because there was times when Evil Hero just popped that jab on him and even just wild hooks. Like, he, he caught Dean a few times and, like, Evil Hero, you know, he, he ain't got no power or nothing. So it's like, it's like, you know, he's not going to knock him out or even down. But he did catch Dean a few times. I'm like, Dean, what's going on, bro? Like, get him up out of there. Like, why, why are you letting him hit you? But look, that's, you know, I mean, he still got the knockout the first round, bro. So you can't really say too much about that one. And then, um, uh, Evil Hero, we, come on. He, we all knew he was going to lose. I'm pretty sure he knew he was going to lose. There was no way his bean-headed, ball-headed self was going up in there looking who he was going to win. But, you know, Evil Hero, he didn't display no good boxing, no nothing. He didn't lose. Dean was going to win. But, all right, on to the next fight. So, though, I already, I predicted every fight right except for one. Except for one. So, the next fight, what was it, Salt Poppy against uh, Aunt Andy Worski? Andy Worski was, he, he was trash too, like, 
he <laughs> it's funny because he looked so corny like he was at the press conference like he was uh do it when they were doing the face off he was like he was like, like doing all that like <laughs> like if you don't get out of here bro like you about to get slept and that's what happened bro andy worsky looks trash like and i'm just i'm not even saying that to just you know crap on him but bro come on like i'm just we all seen the same fight like he he's clearly not he clearly never no he actually did no that was evil hero yeah. but clearly andy worsky you know is not has no boxing iq he does not know what to do he, he's just He's not fast, athletic. He's not smart in the ring. He has no defense, no pop. Like he, he had nothing. He, he was in there to just. He was in there to just be to add to the body count. Like you know, we already knew Salt Papi was gonna win that. Like Andy Wars, he was looking heck of corny and all that, and saying corny stuff. We already knew he was about to get slept. But um, yeah, so that's that fight. Who, who we had after that? Who we had after that? Um, dang, I forgot. I don't even know, but I, I we'll just go to the Sam Hyde one. Sam Hyde and then uh, who was it? Sam Sam Hyde and Iron Thompson was that his name? Two big fat heavy. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But two big heavyweights, just so slow, just throwing lazy jabs. Sam Hyde just looked like the better fighter though. Like it was, he was being all corny at the press conference too. All them monologues he was giving and all that, them speeches. But um, yeah, Sam Hyde clearly, I knew he was going into it. He did what he had to do. He, you know, he, he did his job, bro. Got him up out of there. I think did he get him? I think he did. I think he did. Yeah, Sam Hyde did his thing. No, he did. I don't even remember. I, I think they went to the city. But Sam Hyde did his thing, bro. You feel me? Whooped Iron Thompson, bro. Like, he was popping the jab out, bro. You know, using his size to his advantage. Really making him feel him in that ring. Like, feel that power, bro. Sam Hyde did his thing. Um, King Kenny versus uh, Faye Sensei. Controversial. It's like at the it's so weird, bro. Cause I feel like I knew I knew King Kenny was gonna win, but I was like, dang. Like at the same time, I I feel like Faye Sensei might have won that fight. Like I just feel like he had more volume, like you know, and he landed the more effective punches. Like, but at the same time, King Kenny was staying composed when he got rocked. He's staying composed. Popping a jab out, you know, throwing good combinations, you know. But at times it looked like they were kind of just, you know, like they're kind of just, you know, just, just weaving, not no bobbing, just weaving. Like they were kind of just filling each other out through throughout the fight. Like it was, it was weird. And there was, they had spurts where they would just be throwing hands, and then they had spurts where they really weren't doing nothing. So yeah, that's that's what I thought about that fight. It was a good fight, though. Really good fight. Shout out to King Kenny, bro. Got that dub. I knew he was gonna get that dub. Man, this is the only one I got wrong. Slim versus Temple, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He had, bro. <sighs> Temper had looked it so bad. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. He knocked him out. Like, he knocked him out bad. I was like, like, you hurt, like, you, you was hurt, bro, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, like, he, and then I feel, it's not even, like, it's weird, because he, all he, this was, this was temper the whole fight, chin up, he had his chin up, just going forward, he wasn't using his reach and his height and to keep the distance and throw the jab, you know, throw nice combinations, he wasn't doing that, he was just, Getting in there with brawling with uh with uh Slim. And the thing is Slim is so weird because all his fights he don't ever look good. <laughs> it's like he don't look good. Like I'm not saying like body wise, cause you know, he's not strong either. Like uh, uh 
son is slim. He's a slim dude. He's pretty weak, you know, but he can he can crack, you know. And but I feel like it's really like kind of deceptive. Like it's like it, that power will creep up on you. Like he would have to hit you with combinations to really knock you out. Cause I feel like if he might just go Jake Paul you and just knock you out one punch cold. He it's like he's going to have to over time, over the as the rounds keep going, he's going to have to hit you a lot and then your chin will feel his power and then one good one good chin and you out of there. Yeah, I thought I thought Temper of Women, man, he, he disappointed me a lot, bro. Like I was messing with him. I still mess with him. Like he has a he he's a pretty cool dude. Slim is not even a bad he's not a bad dude either. He's he's pretty cool, man. But um, yeah, man, Slim proved me wrong, man. That's that's what's up, bro. Slim, Slim, he did his thing, but he's still not good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like he he just he's not his head movement is is bad. His head movement's trash. He pops the jab from the waist, which it can't work in your advantage, but he always has his chin up, hands down to to his waist. It's not it's not good when you're in there with someone who's really gonna try to exploit that. But um, yeah, so Slim, he did he, you know he, he did his thing, man. But he he still he's slow, not fat. Like he just slow, just jab the lazy. He has no defense or head movement. Like it, again, that fight could have went either way. Like it wasn't like one was just dominating. Like well, it, clearly Slim had the upper hand, but yeah, both of them didn't really look good. But you know, Slim still got him out of there. Devastating knockout. Uh, shout out to Slim, bro. He did his thing. My favorite fight, fighter of the night, bro. Deji versus Fuji, bro. Oh my, Deji proved so many people wrong, but I really love Deji, bro, and everything I love, bro, that's my dog, bro, because, like, Deji really, there was people, like, even, uh, even Jake was all like, oh, um, I don't think Deji, you know, has turned it on, I don't think he's flipped the script, I think he's just gonna quit once he gets tired, and Fuji's gonna win off punch, I was like, nah, bro, that's, clearly, you haven't seen Fuji fight, because, <laughs> bro, Ooh, and I knew I know this from the start. Fuji is so like I'm not saying this to be mean, but it's come on, like I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be bluntly honest. Like Fuji is so trash. Like there there no, he's not even trash. There's there's hor there's trash, then there's horrible, but then there's atrocious. He is an abomination, like as a boxer. Oh my gosh, like this man, he he has his guard, right? Just punched it. Deji was just jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. He was just punching through his guard consistently, like steady punch, like getting in between his guard every time, bro. And he was just splitting that guard, splitting that guard, throwing combinations, just beating the brakes off of Fuji, bro. Fuji has no head movement, no defense. He just leans forward, so he's constantly getting his head popped back. Deji was just destroying him. Deji had a great jab. Deji was slipping shots. Uh, he, he was throwing great combinations, slipping shots, hitting him with good, hard power shots, you know, jabbing him, uppercuts, hooks. Like, he was just smothering Fuji. Fuji. I knew Fuji wasn't gonna win. Have you seen Fuji with sparring, bro? I seen him sparring quick. He looked so horrible. I knew it wasn't gonna end good for Fuji. This man Deji what, fractured his eye socket, it freaking broke his nose, had him leaking, bleeding out his nose onto his chest. Just a violent beatdown by Deji. And that's how I want it to be from now on. Deji's the dog, bro. Like Deji's really He's really out here, bro. He he was the best. He performed better than any fighter on that night. Like he had the best performance, you know. But um, yeah, that's that's for that fight. I'm I'm proud of, of Deji. And then I didn't like how Fuji was trying to bully Deji before the fight. He was like, 
oh, I'm your, I'm your last effing chance. I'm, you're this, you're that. You just want, you just want to do it for the paycheck. You're only doing it for the money. I thought you said you're gonna quit after this, like, bro. When you're looking at my transformation at night, you know, oh my gosh, how, how, how am I gonna beat food? Like, food me. Oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. I, 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 I was just waiting for Benji to knock Fuji out, bro. Fuji was talking that stuff, and I knew he was, he was really not like that. Like, he wasn't who he said he was, bro. So I knew Deji, and Deji was being cool, calm, collected. I'm like, all right, bro, that's cool. That's fine. Okay. Yep. I'm just gonna let my hands do the talking, bro. I'm just about that action. That's basically what he was saying, bro. Like, <laughs> you feel me? Deji was keeping it uh, 100 with him. Like, bro, I'm just I'm gonna show you. Like, I'm, I don't even need to say much. I'm gonna show you that. And that's why I mess with Deji so much after that. And then the last fight, uh, really nothing you can like like you can't really like evaluate that like you just KSI just whooped Pineda like Pineda's trash hot garbage trash all that <laughs> but yeah he wasn't even trying to fight so I really it's, and it's tough because I really can't like say much about the KSI fight other than he knocked his opponents out of so yeah man that's the video. That's what I thought about that fight, man. Hey, just to let y'all know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in the ring, too. I'm going to be in the ring, bro. I'm, watch. Just watch. I'm telling y'all. Watch. When I when I turn 18, bro, I'm still 16. But when I turn 18, I guarantee you I'm going to get in that ring, bro. I'm already, I'm already in that ring, bro. I'm already in that ring. Been training, bro. Been getting my fist ready. You feel me, bro? Hitting the heavy bag. I'm like... Y'all don't even know, bro. Like it's it's a rap. Like it's really a rap. When I get in there, I'm gonna I'm gonna really expose everybody YouTube boxing scene and really show them who I am, bro. Like, oh my gosh, like it, it's a rap. I'm gonna fight six nine. <laughs> <laughs> six nine, I'm telling you, I'm coming for you, boy. <laughs> All right. All right, yo. Hey. I've enjoyed this video. I hope y'all did too, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I'm out. Peace.